week's lab, we're doing the idea of a compound using chemical changes. And some of the chemical changes that we're going to be looking at is either a formation of bubbles, we got the formation of odor, uh, a color change, uh, heat can be produced, and a uh, precipitate can form. A precipitate is a solid that forms in solution. These, all five of these, we're going to be actually looking at it very qualitatively. So we're going to be using our senses. So can we see the, the solid that forms? If a solid forms, it could be something heavy that sinks to the bottom, or it could be light enough that it still floats in solution. So if the solution looks opaque, meaning you can't see through it, cloudy, there is a precipitate, okay? Heat produced, if we're using test tubes, you would feel the outside of the test tubes. Uh, today's lab, we're actually not having any heat being produced, because, and so we could actually use the well plates. Uh, color change, obviously we could use our eyes for that. Formation of an odor, there we're going to put the odor close to us and waft the smell towards us. In the well plates, it's hard to do because you have all the well plates together, uh, all the cells together. We would take a stirring rod and uh, look at that one little solution at a time. Formation of bubbles, obviously we're gonna use our eyes and look to see if bubbles form in solution itself or adhere to the sides that weren't there before, okay, the sides of the well plate. So let's get to look at the lab setup. This week's experiment is going to be the identification of a compound using chemical properties. Uh, the equipment that we're going to be needing today is a well plate and uh, the, this one works really well that's uh, six by four and uh, we'll need a stirring rod so we could stir solutions um, we're also going to need uh, various reagents the three reagents we're going to be using are one molar hydrochloric acid one molar sodium hydroxide and 0.1 molar so, uh, silver nitrate the uh, solutions that we're going to be using are um, 1.01 molar of sodium chloride, 0.1 molar of calci uh, sorry, sodium carbonate, 0.1 molar magnesium sulfate, 0.1 molar of ammonium chloride, and uh, water. Okay, so those are our solutions that we're gonna be using. Now, these well plates that we're using they have a depth um, that will actually hold two milliliters. This is a very qualitative lab, so we're just using our senses. And so we just need to see what happens when we add two clear colorless liquids together and uh, look for a reaction. Remember, we already talked about uh, various changes, right? Color change is something we're going to be looking for. Formation of bubbles, uh, formation of an odor, formation of heat or uh, precipitate forms, which is basically a solid that forms in solution. Now a precipitate could look like a really thick solid and it falls to the bottom, or it could be opaque. I'm not going to do the experiment for you, that is the whole task of the lab. I'm just showing you our setup. One thing that might be helpful uh, for this lab is to make a, a, a template so that you know for each column and each row what chemicals are actually in your uh, particular well plate. So this is a nice little template. And the reason we put the well plate on the uh, black surface is because if we're looking for a precipitate, if precipitate might be white, we won't see it against white paper. So I have a template just going along the, the top and the side. So I know exactly what is in what, what row and what is in which column. Don't try to memorize it. It's best to record everything so you can actually see it. So in lab, one of the things we need to do is we need to smell the solution. So we will go ahead and stir the solution. Some of these might take two or three um, minutes before a gas might be produced. And then you're going to smell the uh, stirring rod as best as you can through the mask. I know it will be hard, but that's a, one of the techniques is we would actually take it and smell, put, put the odor towards our nose. And if it's strong enough, it should actually, you know, maybe we can smell it. So we'll see. We'll, that's something we'll try this week. When you are done with this experiment, you want to dispose of the waste properly. So anything in silver, that silver uh, row there, is going to go into our silver waste bottle. And the other two uh, rows with uh, sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid are going to go into our non-silver waste. I already, got, I already disposed of the silver waste. I didn't want you to see my results. So the other two rows, how do we do this? I'll keep my hands here. Um, we're going to open the container, 
We're going to take a disposable pipette and we're going to suck each solution out of the well and into our waste bottle. Okay, so that's how we properly dispose of our solutions for this experiment. Now I'm doing the last two rows here of the row with the sodium hydroxide and the row with the hydrochloric acid. That would go into the non-silver salts waste bottle. All right. Okay. Thank you for cleaning up. And afterwards, you would clean out your well plate with soap and water. All right. And don't forget to close the lid on your waste bottle. Always close the lid. Okay.